<clears throat> well, good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Had a rainy day. Uh, I know last night uh, we was out for a little while and the streets flooded like crazy. I was told over here across from uh, the airport and that little area over there that the people said that the water was right up to the doors and says when the cars would go down the road it would come in the house so they was trying to stop traffic but i don't think they was able to but we got a lot of a rain a lot of water last night and uh, that might need no it needs to be up there make sure that we're uh, focused in a well on the camera all of our cameramen are are gone tonight I'm not and uh, I'm all of our uh, we have a lot, of, a lot of people that are out and we miss them, but we're glad that you're here. And uh, uh, I've got, uh, uh, boy, she put it right on me, didn't she? Uh, we got, we've got a lot to, to cover. We're not, uh, uh, I have a video I wanted to show you. Uh, and uh, uh, I tell you what, my heart's been broken all day, y'all. Uh, if we look at this world and how things are going, uh, it seems like people have a deaf ear to the Word of God. And I'm not just talking about unbelievers. I've even been talking about believers. Uh, people just don't, uh, they don't hear what the Word of God says. And, and, uh, and I'm here to tell you God's Word has never changed. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And uh, we, uh, we have a challenge. And the Scripture says that we are to die daily. And when it talks about dying daily, it's talking to about our own selfish desires, the fleshly desires that we have. And uh, uh, it, there, there's, there's things that we all have a fight with, but God will help us with that fight if we let him. God has sent us the Holy Spirit, and he is a gentleman. He will guide you and teach you to all truth, but if you're not willing to listen, he lets you suffer the consequences. And that's why we are in so much trouble all the time. So, uh, Sister Judy is still, as far as I know, in the rehab. Uh, Sister uh, uh, Charlotte and her son's not here tonight. Mary uh, had texted me and I texted her back. It was late. I thought she was coming from the first text she got me. And then I don't know if something happened. But anyhow, uh, pray for them. They're not here tonight. And uh, uh, Jason had called me the other night about his grandpa. He was having problems again, so we want to remember him in prayer. Uh, Brother Robert, of course, he's on our prayer list. Um, just, just many people who have need. Uh, Brother Glenn came in and said uh, to us that his sister is fixing to move and she's been here since in the 80s somewhere close to 90 uh 87 to 90 somewhere in that neighborhood i've been listening to him but i hadn't got the story just right but, <laughs> but yeah she's been here with him and he's he's not gonna have anybody here but his daughter and and uh he's been around her most of his life so he's gonna miss her so pray for her and that change as well and uh, uh i just was listening to some of the talk my wife had a little fall this week and in fact i got tickled at her she came in she says i failed and there was no one to help me up and i said well hun i didn't even know you was out there and uh, uh she looked at buddy and she said nobody would come and pick me up i could hardly get up just started crying and carrying on <laughs> I did and yes she did <laughs> and uh <laughs> And, she just, she just, and I said, honey, I says, I, I would have been there if you just told me to come, but you didn't. So, anyhow, um, I got Bilal to the fall. So, uh, uh, I tell you what, I've been trying to keep from falling uh, the last two or three days. And uh, uh, I don't know why it is, but in these older days, and my, my situation is... Uh, uh, I, I trip over everything. I don't care if it's out there and, and uh, it's going to get me a rug, uh, anything, you know, it just does. So uh, I uh, went back to my family physician. And they called me today and told me some of my blood levels were low and they're going to put me on some more vitamins 
want me to come back and check it next week and maybe that's why I'm feeling the way I'm feeling. I feel sluggish. And they said my vitamin D was down and I didn't have enough magnesium, magne what do you call it? Magnesium. magnesium. Uh, said it was down and uh, they, uh, they said that they wanted me to come in next Wednesday and take my blood again. And they said they could tell if I've been taking these things. So I, <laughs> I, I got to go get some there. Uh, I don't even have them. So anyhow, uh, uh, appreciate your prayers. And, and uh, thank you, Lord, for allowing us to have another day. I had a good uh, watchman on the wall and a good uh, Hebrew letter today. We uh, studied the word het. It's spelled C-H-E-T like check, uh, but it's called het. And uh, if you haven't listened to that, you can on Facebook, and and uh, we trust that you will. Do we have any other prayer requests from anyone? Yeah, I prayed that my sister would be fine with her daughter. Amen. Yeah. Uh, uh, anyone I else? I'd hate to see her go, but if she wants to stay with her, that's her business. Her uh -huh. business. Let's pray that Tyler so heals up good. Lord, watch over and all. Her and Buddy born on the same day, huh? Uh, Her and Buddy's born on the same day. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's right. He'll be having a birthday. Yeah. He, he, he don't want nobody to know, but he's telling everybody. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he is. <laughs> and anybody else? Anybody got any special prayer requests or needs? You just want us to yeah. pray for you, okay? I got one. I want to read that when you do. Okay. All right. Let's let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father, we thank you that you love us, that we can come and meet together in this place. We miss our church family that's not here tonight, Lord. We ask your blessings upon us as we <clears throat> proclaim your word and just give us understanding and help us to love one another and be one another as you would have us. And go with us, guide us, and direct us. We thank you for all that you've done, all that you're going to do. We ask your healing hand upon all of our church family, Lord, wherever they may be. Whatever they're going through, help them to have faith, to trust, and believe in you. And help us to lift one another up. And we'll give you the praise for it in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. amen. Well, we're starting out with Revelation chapter 20. And you know what? The first three verses of this scripture just caused me a lot of joy. I don't know about you, but let's go through them and see what it says, okay? And Revelation chapter 20, verses 1 through 3. Did you say you wanted to read that? Yeah. Go read that. And I saw an angel come down from heaven having the keys of the bottom pit and a great chain in his hand. He laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and bound him up a thousand years, and cast him into the bottom of the pit, and shut him up, and sealed, set a seal upon him that he should not deceive the nations no more, till a thousand years should be fulfilled. And after that, he must be loosened a little season. All right, so let, let, let's uh, let, let, let's ask the first question. Brother Al likes to ask questions in Sunday school, right? So the first question I'm going to ask is, who is this angel? Somebody tell me who this angel is.